Is that there is not enough Michonne back there? Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Marvel Now Uncanny X Men Emma Frost Artifacts Plus One Tenth Scale statue. If you're trying to get one of these, you can pre order one at Big Enough. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thanks to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the links below. I always like the artwork that they use on the background over here. I think that's really cool. Same thing on the side. I think that's pretty awesome. You can see Uncanny X Men. And on the back, you can see some product shots. You can see a read up if you want to read it. Go ahead and pause it now. Then on the other side, we have Emma Frost again, and it says Marvel now right there, and not much at the bottom. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Emma Frost out of the packaging, looking absolutely gorgeous as she should, and wearing black attire. This isn't the first time we've actually seen her wearing black clothes. When she was with the Dark X Men, she had black on, and now she's part of the Renegade X Men led by Cyclops, and she's sporting black once again, looking very, very revealing, very, very sexy, I like it, but this statue isn't a Bishojo statue, so the intent here isn't to get, you know, full on crazy with the parts and all that stuff, but it's still a very beautiful sculpt. Now this is an Artifacts Plus statue, so she does have the magnetized feet right over there, you can see the magnets, and we get your standard issue magnetized base. And in case you wanted to know, the statue can actually stand without the base, even though I do not recommend you do that, you really should put her on the magnetized base. Now I really like the face sculpt on this, I think she has a great expression over here, kind of this non-expressive, stuck-up kind of look, you know, which I think is very suiting for Emma Frost. I think the paint came out looking really good over here too. Nice red paint for the lips, the eyes look really clean. You get this off yellow color for her eyebrows, and the blue paint for the eyes look really good. And the eyelashes look great. You get this nice blush going on her face too, so I think that looks really nice. I wish they added some color variation right there for the hair though, so that's actually my only gripe with this statue is the hair piece. And then there's a couple of spots where it just goes completely flat right over here too, so I'm not a big fan of that. But this part I like, you know, and the top over here has some nice sculpted lines in it. But yeah, I really wish it had color variation. And looking right over here on the shoulder pads, I think this looks great. I love that gunmetal color and you get that metallic red right over there. That's looking really good. Nice wrinkles right there in the sleeve. And you get that glossy black right there for the hands, which is perfect. And nice gesture too. I really like the pose for this statue. I think it looks really good. And then of course she has this very light colored skin. And like I said, this isn't, you know, an over sexualized piece or anything like that, but it is Emma Frost. I think they could have made the chest just a little bit bustier on this statue. I'm not saying that just out of personal preference. Comparing it to the Marvel Legends one, you could see that's like, you know, there, there's a big difference right there. Nice little belly button over there. Nice flesh tones that we get on this too, you know. The flesh tones really make everything pop really, really nicely. So I like that. Really nice color right over here on the belt too. Digging the little wrinkles right there. She has these very high boots. Very S&M looking costume, right? And over here you get this nice metal color right there for these buckles. She has her beautiful high heels on. And I really like how this part came out right over here. I guess this is her trench coat, I want to call it a cape. But I like how it's flowing off to the side like that. I just think it's very cool looking, so very good pose for Emma Frost. Now to measure this statue, she's standing a little over 8 inches tall while standing on the base, and without the base, she's at around 7.5 inches tall. And then to compare Emma to a couple other Marvel Now Artifacts Plus statues, we have the Marvel Now Cyclops, and we have the Marvel Now Black Widow. And you can see that she fits into scale with these two very well. And then here's the Emma Frost statue next to the Marvel Legends Emma Frost from the Jubilee Wave, and the big time letdown Emma Frost. And then here she is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, Emma Frost, how's it going? Oh, what? Whoa, 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 what the heck? So again, I think this is a very beautiful statue. I really like it. it. Does not look too shabby at all. So if you're really a big fan of Emma Frost and you really like this statue, I highly recommend it. I didn't mention that there are some parts that you have to put together. Uh, this waist piece right here and the two arms, you have to apply those yourself, but it's very easy to do so and it looks seamless. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're 18 years of age or older, please check out the Patreon account, link below. Also, so follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, posing action figures, posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. 
just part of the character's character. It's just one of the character.